Good morning everyone, welcome back to the vlog. We are back in the Alfard, heading to Banawe so that we can go seat shopping for one of our race car projects, actually two of our race car projects. We're gonna be buying a pair of seats and I wanna get, educate you guys on why seats matter. Weight on a car is actually very substantial when you're doing a race car project. So normally when you're doing a race car, either you wanna increase horsepower of the car, but you also want to reduce weight. There's two ways to make the car go faster on track, right? Or a few more ways. Normally when you see race cars, there's no carpet, there's no aircon, there's no radio. There's no unnecessary things that will weigh the car down because you're going to add more weight when you're doing stuff like the roll cage, the fire suppression system, the air jack system. So you are adding some weight back, but in terms of safety, those are crucial. Because I've decided to build the GT2 RS and the 997 RWB into more focused track cars. I wanted to lose weight which means we're going to be visiting our friends at XLR so that we can pick up some seats for the projects. Normally in all of the Porsche builds that we do we change the seats to Recaros and this time I wanted to show you guys the differences between the seats available on hand. These are locally available. Recaro and Jeff and XLR have been the dealers for Recaro for the longest time and we have bu been buying seats from them. And I normally get Sportsters or Podiums and just the recently you have these seats like the Pole Position, the RMS, Podium and then um, the Full Carbon RMS Racer which is the Japan model. We're gonna educate ourselves briefly today but the seats range basically from 4.5 kilos, 4.5 kilos, that's so light, to about 6.5 kilos for race seats. and. The standard carbon GT3 seat in my 997 is still roughly like at the 17 kilo mark because it has an airbag built into both sides of the seats. Obviously we're risking safety for performance but in terms of what I'm doing with the GT3 which is mostly time attack which means I'm alone on track. I'm not gonna crash into anyone else or no one else is gonna crash into me. Hopefully then that's okay but for the GT2 RS where we're going to be doing grid racing I will be putting a full roll cage in that which means I can eliminate the airbags because it means I have extra protection in terms of a cage so that said we're going to be looking at these seats comparing all of them and then after that we're going to pass by the Motul flagship store so that we can discuss the plans for the Manila Auto Salon we have some cars on display with Motul for Motul uh, Infinite Serve they're on Facebook also they do bike oil, engine oil, and they carry most of the products and we're trying to pump them up so that they can help us with our other future projects. Hey guys, welcome to Banawe. This is XLR and this is what their storefront looks like for the longest time that I've been coming to Banawe. They've been here already. They sell BBS wheels for car seats, aircon components. Let's go inside and check out some seats. Here are the Recaro seats that they sell. These are the race seats on top, which are solid fixed seats. These are reclinable seats over here. This looks like the Sportsters, which we normally get. And then, I don't know, these seats are these SR3s. And then these are new seats. I haven't seen these designs. They look super sleek with their new fabric. But these are the seats that we're looking at right here. Nice. This is the seat we have in the M4 already. And that's a different seat altogether. So if you're in the market for looking for race seats for your car, these are the top three seats that you can get. Now the seats matter in terms of fitment. It has to fit you in your hips so that you don't move around when you're driving in your car. But the weight also matters. Now this is roughly, I think, um, six kilos. This is 4.4 .4, and then that's like six-ish six kilos also. That's the podium, this is the RMS, and this is the pole. And we're going to sit in it real quick. So the problem with this seat for me, I can stuff my hand here, which means this is not a good seat for me. Which means when I'm driving the car, my butt's going to be moving around and that's not a good thing. Now the RMS is made in Japan, which means it's fit for Asians and it's got a slimmer seat. 
I know this seat works because we have it in the BMW M4 already. Problem with these seats also when you're putting it in a road car, the side bolster is very high, so getting in and out is not that easy, especially since the seats mount so low. But with this seat, you can tell already that it's not gonna let me go anywhere. I can put extra padding here so that my ribs don't move also. And we're gonna try the last seat. It's got a little more give here, which could be solved with a seat belt and some extra padding, but definitely I think this seat is what we're going to get. Definitely seat comfort should be a top priority also where it fits your body type and make some space for the helmet. The problem that I find with the Porsche stock seats, some of the Porsche stock seats have this weird shape when you wear a helmet, your head juts forward and it actually hurts for the neck. Unlike this seat where you can tell I'm straight back up already. If I wear a helmet, there's ample space. And then if I wear a hands device, these seat belts come out from these holes here and drop down and secure me over here. Again, I love the fit of this seat. I think it's absolutely perfect. And Ricaro is known for making ergonomic seats also, which means they're good for your back. Moving to this seat, it's got a different feel. It has more padding definitely, but I don't feel as enveloped as this seat. This seat, when I sit inside, I feel cocooned inside and I find the backing of this seat super high. So not quite sure if this is going to be suited for my body type, but definitely this seat. And then eventually later on, we're going to get some Recaro seats for the F430 also because my seat, the electric seat in the F430 is acting up already, which means I'm going to be getting one of the Sportster seats on top here. XLR is also the dealer for HRE wheels, AL13, BBS, and definitely these are original wheels, they're not copies, but we're here for the Recaro seats. Another thing you have to take into account when buying a seat is the support for your head in case of a crash. Now in case of a crash, your helmet will go left and right, and this really matters over here because it helps keep your head still and prevents you from snapping your neck. That's what also the hands device does. The hands device basically secures your helmet into a position where the seat belts hold the hands down so that your head won't whip around but this also helps definitely i wish i could put them in more of my cars but for now it's going to go into the 997 gt3 rwb and into the 991.2 gt2 rs and this is going to be a good complement to what we're doing for the car and wow i can't wait to mount them so the podium seat for me reminds me of the porsche seat it's very sexy also but it feels a little upright and the curvature of the head rest here, if you notice, instead of going vertically up, it actually leans inside and I'm not particularly fond of that shape where I feel like it's too upright, especially if you have a helmet. I like the, the RMS over here where it just goes straight up. If you're building a uh, track warrior, weekend warrior car and you want race seats but you don't want the extra hassle of getting in and out of bucket seats because of the high bolsters, you have alternate seats like this with low side bolsters but yet they're more fit on top and then when you wear a seat belt it does hold you in. This definitely helps block the hips but again with the RMS here you can see that it really sits your butt in. Now if you notice here also the side bolsters are very low. And along with this seat, this is still a street seat. This is still a street seat and this is reclinable. There's a little knob here. The Recaro Sportster is one of their best selling seats. I have it in most of the RWB9, uh, most of the RWB builds, but we are gonna get this for the F430 because the leather seat and the motorized seat in the F430 is heavy, it's old, it's acting up. And I think this is a good change and it feels comfy. Okay, we're finally loading the chairs. Weirdly enough, the railing for the 997 and the 991 are the same, which is cool. The only thing that differs, I guess, is the side mount. No, the side mount should be the same also. But thank you so much to XLR for providing these seats. If you guys want some race seats and some comfort seats, you guys can come here and test fit them before you buy them because that's super important in buying a seat. Now let's go to the Motul branch. In case you guys are wondering how much we spent, the list price for the chairs with the rails, with the side plates, 
around 338,000 per seat. If you guys need seats, we're also the official dealer for them and we can get these seats for you. We can deliver them or drop ship them to you. So let me know in the comments down below if you guys need some seats. For those of you who followed me for a long, long time already, I used to work in Redline Racing, which is an Araneta app, and I used to come here to Banawe so often. But now, it still looks the same. It still looks like the same place. There's this amazing Chinese restaurant somewhere here. I don't know if they're still open, but we're not going there. We are going to the Motul flagship store. Wei says we're basically two minutes away, but being Banawe, it's he heavily trafficked because people are on the road, people are crossing. It's a super busy place. If you're a car person, this is the place to go for car parts and spares. Welcome to the Matul store here. Look how big this place is. Hi guys, this is Jules. <laughs> Jules Morning. is actually in charge of the marketing. Marketing ka ba? Or <laughs> in charge of everything. So I'm gonna <laughs> make a quick tour to our flagship. Yeah, so welcome to the flagship store here in Banawe and they do a lot of things here. They obviously do the change oils, but they do dyno. They have dyno service also. We have here our wrapping services. So now we're wrapping a Mercedes CLD. They also have their own tow truck in case you guys need a tow. Definitely, they can help you. So Jules will give us a quick tour. I see there's a machine shop in the yes, back. Machine shop. And here's our quick services. And this one is for the heavy duty. So this 2 GTR has a transmission problem. So I have a transmission, ba kailangan mo? <laughs> 1,000 horsepower. Wow! Oh, really? on stock. So they have a full alignment rack yes, service here. Alignment service. And our lifters here, we can we can carry uh, bulletproof cars. Ah, so heavy heavy duty you can cars. service the bulletproof yes. cars. Yes. So it's not. I just thought you were selling oil. Hindi lang pala selling oil. You're okay. doing. Like full service alignment, aircon. Coming Meron? soon. Coming soon. Next year, we're planning to make a paint shop. Paint shop, yes. pa. Next year, in your next target. You're expanding, namin, talaga. Kuya Charlie. Anong specialty nyo? Would you say GTRs? Would you say European cars? Um, for now, GTRs. For now, GTR. That's a healing mo, GTR. <laughs> Mag truck. If you guys yes, know Mag truck. Yes. Mag truck is the basically the Nissan GTR club of Manila. Okay, so why do you have a machine shop? Do you do engine rebuild also? Yes, we, we do also engine rebuild. This is the machine From shop. V6. So next stop, the dyno. Let's go to the dyno. So if you guys need any engine rebuilding services, right here, one-stop shop na rin kayo, ha? Yes, yes, one-stop shop. Okay, anong dyno kayo? This is a dyno jet. Okay, Dyno Jet, Roller Dyno. Yes, Roller Dyno. And, and it's self adjusting, as you can see here with the guide rails. This is a BMW. So they also have a motorcycle dyno. In case you're going crazy with your motorcycle and you need more power, I don't know why you need more power on a motorcycle. I've honestly never seen a motorcycle dyno. <laughs> Okay, so we're discussing the cars that we're going to use for the Manila Auto Salon. So far, we have the Sky Fero, which Classic Speed is repainting. The Mazda RX-7, we're waiting for parts, but the car is running, so no problem. The Camaro is with me already, it's running. The 458 GT3 is in Velocita because the gearbox fault. I hope the car can get fixed before then. Black Manta fitment is reviving, and then the F430 Liberty Walk, which is running in my house. So that one I can drive to the show and ingress on my own and then the rest probably tow truck or pickup um so six cars tama yes yes six cars one two three four five six five dame <laughs> <laughs> and then i'm gonna have two cars also in the booth that i'm sharing with ronald ventura and key so it's going to be crazy eight car line up grabe it's the so most cars dame. most cars i've lined up and we, you know weirdly enough there's more cars we want to show off pa but there's no space. It's not, it's not easy, right? Yes, yes, yes. You have to remember like, all, all the people's energy and then there's a lot of people and then it's cold and then there's no sunlight. So after a while, on the, usually on the fourth day, it's like... From day. ingress to egress. <laughs> and, and what's worse is the egress is normally like midnight of Sunday. Where it's na. Yes. But you know, we're not complaining this part of the game that we yes, play. Yes. So 
excited to partner with the Motul guys and show you guys the crazy cars that we've been building because Carport hasn't joined the Manila Auto Salon since 2020, right before the pandemic actually. So we're gonna make a comeback, we're gonna make it big, we're gonna make it strong and full car lineup. If you look at it that way, two Italians, mm. two Americans, mm. two Japanese and then two Germans. <laughs> okay guys, we're leaving now. Thank you to Jules. Thank you. We'll see you guys in Manila Ocelon and abangan nyo yung display because it's going to be wild. <laughs> very, very wild. Mga one of one of one. <laughs> but anyway, thanks Jules. If you guys you, need services, you. you can contact them. Motul Infinite Serve and Motul Philippines. Dalawa, di ba? Yes, Two yes. Instagram pages. That's them. As you can see, they do a lot of services. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys again in the next episode. Peace!